YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Life Changing Finances YouTube channel. Uh, so, NVIDIA stock falls today. Uh, is it a big deal? No, it's, it's really not. But uh, before we get into the price movement, I want to go over something with you. So I am on Unite.ai. And so there are a bunch of conferences coming up throughout the remainder of the year. I mean, this list just goes on and on. But there is one big one that I keep hearing about uh, this uh, Imagine AI Live, which is going to be uh, in Las Vegas uh, from March 27th to the 28th, okay? So we open this thing up. Uh, let's see what we have here. Um, I think this one, uh, NVIDIA is, is going to be a part of, if I'm not mistaken. So check this one out, guys. Um, you know, also check out the rest of the, the AI conferences that are on the list. So this will help, you know, keep everybody up on, you know, the latest technologies and what's to come out. So check these out. Uh, we want to stay on top of things like this. But without further ado, let's look into what's going on with NVIDIA. So NVIDIA uh, on the day, I mean, it's really no big deal. It closed down 1.12%. And I'm keeping my same uh, technicals. Right now in the aftermarket, it's down another half a percent. I mean, that's virtually no big deal, right? I mean, it's NVIDIA. Uh, that's not really much. So as we bring this thing to the 30-minute uh, or even five-minute, we can see that uh, if we extend this thing to the after hour, we can see that this thing uh, virtually closed up uh, where it needed to. So we're still above 900. So that lets me know that things are still in a good uh, spot for NVIDIA, despite it being down 1.5% on a day, give or take, whatever it was. No big deal there. Now, if we bring this thing out to the 30, right, we're still holding support here. So now we're going to have to work our way back up to 925 uh, tomorrow, show some strength there and then we'll be uh, in a good position, right? Now, the next step up from here, we bring this thing out on a one hour, will be 9.56. So as long as we can close uh, at or above 9.25 tomorrow, we can wake our way up to 9.56. And then, you know, possibly we can make our way closer to $1,000. So that remains to be seen. So tomorrow uh, is going to be a big day in order for us to kind of see if we can possibly get up to $1,000 a share by Friday. But if that's going to happen, we're definitely going to have to close near 956 uh, on tomorrow. But if things don't go well uh, for tomorrow, we're going to be coming down to 869 if that's where the momentum carries us. And the reason why I say that is because I'm gonna bring this up. Tomorrow we have some economic data coming out and that can kind of derail the momentum depending on how the market takes it. So we got uh, producer price index coming out at 8.30, uh, core producer price index, the year over year. Uh, initial jobs claim. So we've got a lot coming out tomorrow, uh, including the U.S. retail sales. So the pre-market is going to be, as they say nowadays, lit, right? So we got to keep an eye out on the pre-market. So even if this thing uh, sells off in the pre-market and it makes its way down here, we still can make a nice recovery back up to $900 per share. So Again, tomorrow um, is it, going to be a big day for the markets overall. So I hopped in a couple of plays uh, that don't cost, you know, much as far as capital goes. So, um, you know, in that particular ETF, if it goes up or down, 
uh, should be able to catch some profit there. So that's the way we're looking for uh, NVIDIA. Uh, so if I say NVIDIA, just, just uh, don't mind me. It's NVIDIA. I got it. Okay. NVIDIA. So that's what I got for you guys today. Uh, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And again, man, I appreciate you guys. Till next time, I'm out.